Hey there friends, it's time for our first project in our beginning hand tool series. And this is based off the Sloyd method of education as taught at the Nas School of Sloyd. So I encourage you to stick with me to the end and you're gonna see where I had to move away from the model that was presented by Otto Salomon. Uh, but as he said in his book, that uh, that's okay. So let's dive into the book and see what we got. I'm going to be using the digital copy of the Sloyd System of Woodworking uh, provided by the Internet Archive at archive.org. Uh, I have a hard copy that I prefer reading uh, myself, but this is very convenient for sharing information. So let's zoom on over to our first project. Okay, our first project is going to be a simple, uh, what he refers to as the kindergarten pointer or um, small pointer. Uh, this allows the student, the beginning student, to really become familiar with the grain of the wood. We're going to start with a quarter inch by quarter inch blank and see how it tapers down to a rounded point. The skills or exercises that we need to know for this are the long cut with the knife and the cross cut with the knife. I do have a couple of videos out there on these two exercises and there'll be uh, links to those down below. So. Uh, let's head over to the shop and uh, get started on our first project. Now, I gave serious thought to skipping these early exercises, what Salomon calls models, uh, thinking that it's basically the use of the knife. How interesting can that be? But then I got to thinking, you know, I got my first knife when I was five years old. It's this one right here. I, I very clearly remember the day my dad brought this knife home to me um, and you know only five years old but he taught me how to safely use the knife how to you know, cut the wood things like that and then as I went through Boy Scouts you know first Cub Scouts then Boy Scouts and, and others you know I use the knife all the time but I get thinking not everybody has that same background not everybody has that same history and using the knife is, is, is a great way to learn about wood, in particularly the grain of the wood and things like that. So let's zoom in here so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so this is just a piece of pine that is uh, ripped down from construction lumber. Now, in the exercise itself, um, the, the only thing that, that is presented to the student is the knife, and it really doesn't talk about preparing the blank. In later exercises, there's a lot of discussion about preparing the blank. But in this case, uh, we are to provide the blank for the student. But if you look, hopefully the camera picks this up okay. If you, if you look here, you can see how the grain progresses. And if you see right here, the grain actually starts to... To go down. So as we're we're cutting, if we're cutting in this direction, uh, we're actually cutting with the grain. And what that allows the the blade to do is kind of uh, dig in and and have a smooth cut. If we were to come back this way, okay, we're cutting against the grain, and it could actually cause the uh, the grain to lift up and and splinter. And using the knife really is an excellent way to learn about the grain of the wood. So I've decided to go ahead and put out this, this video. Uh, this is video one, the, the first six exercises in the teacher's handbook of Sloyd are related to carving. They're all very similar. Uh, if you decide, or if, if the group out there really would like to see the other five videos that go along with this, I'd be happy to make them. Uh, right now, I'm only planning to do this one related to the knife, uh, but I'll, I'll, of course, yield to uh, whatever the, the group wants out there. So in this exercise, we are to present a blank to the student that is a quarter by a quarter, fairly straight-grained wood, um, and we start off by you know taking a pencil and making a little square at one end okay 
And I showed this on a, a previous video. I got this from Paul Sellers, actually, where you, you use your, your finger as your, your guide. Okay, we don't have to be extremely accurate or precise here, but we want to make a square that is about an eighth of an inch. Okay? Once we have that, we will then take our knife and, you know, any knife will do. Uh, we see in a lot of the, the videos out there, people talking about Sloyd knives and the Sloyd is a specific style of knife and it's an excellent knife, nothing wrong with that. This is a flex cut carving knife. I really like this because of the curved handle. Fits my hand extremely well. Um, very easy to use, very easy to keep sharp. But, you know, something that would work just as well is this inexpensive buck pocket knife. Uh, you know, relatively inexpensive. Uh, you just got to make sure that whatever knife you're using is good and sharp. So to do the exercise, uh, the, the total length is going to be about four inches. So we want to start with a blank that's considerably longer than that. So uh, the student has a, a, a good grip on it. Uh, and normally I would start out by carving the corners first. Okay, but Solomon very specifically says that we are to start on the flat. He does not say why. I, I have to assume it's to uh, help the students, uh, again, learn the grain patterns. So we're just going to start by doing long cuts, nice gentle long cuts, down to our line. So one of the things that Solomon talks about is that you should be free to adjust the models as you see fit. So I made the model the first time using the quarter inch by quarter inch that he recommended. And what I consider to be a few problems with that, um, I think that's just too small for a younger student. To be able to grip onto. Um, I think visually it also did not um, present itself as well. So I'm remaking it with half by half stock. Um, it is easier to grip. It is easier to, um, I think, easier to see the impacts. Um, what is more difficult though, is it's a bigger piece and it requires a little bit more strength. But I think with, again, a sharp knife and persistence, it's probably going to yield better results. So again, this is, this is um, just yellow pine taken from construction lumber. Um, we're gonna do the long cut and work our way into a taper. So getting a little bit deeper as we go. And per Salomon's instructions, we will do it on the flat side first, and then we'll move to the corners. So start by tapering one side, rotate and taper the next. And this is where I think the, 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 the new student, especially people without experience working with wood, are going to see how the different grains, grain patterns impact. Because if you notice, it was much easier to cut on this side than it is on this one. Um, because just the way the, the grain is laying. Now we flip it over to this side and we're getting some good long shavings again. Okay and just continue working it down 
all right, until we have a taper at that end. Flip it over to the fourth side. Now, because of the way the, the grain has shifted, it's a little bit more difficult. But continue using the thumb as leverage to help you get you know, the desired impact. Not quite down on this side. You have each of the four sides tapered then Salomon says come in to the corners and now turn your square or your pyramid into an octagon I think the temptation is to to cut your cut this one a little bit short and not spend as much time as soon as you get one of the, the corners but make sure you're going down deep enough all the way around and continue working towards a point rotate And at this point, we just continue just rotating the work. And every time we, we feel a ridge, we would want to take that off. up to the top see where we maybe have missed some teach the, the students to, to feel as much as they see you can you can feel where you've got sharp edges you can use just a little bit of trimming All right, so I think the, the half inch stock is probably more appropriate, especially if you are dealing with the younger students. And that might seem a little counterintuitive, thinking that small hands should be able to handle smaller pieces of wood, but it actually works the opposite. With smaller hands, you actually need bigger pieces. All right. Lesson number one, or project number one in the Sloyd skill set using the knife to round a piece of wood well let's I'll tell you what let's round over this top here again using the oblique cut just come in round over like this Good. And then we'll come in with our cross cut. I think using the thumb really does help you get a nice, nice control. Cutting deep. Rotating the wood as you go. Then when you come to this end, let's, let's clean it up by going in the other direction and just rounding rounding that over. OK. 
Okay, round pointer, about four inches long. So that's going to wrap us up for project number one in the Sloyd beginning woodworking skills. Friends, take care. God bless.